Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your September 2022 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Now, September is the ninth month, therefore, nine is the number of completion. It is really, really important, just as an overall picture, for you to realize whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you feel, whenever it is you feel like, oh, I want to really finish this, this is the month to finish stuff. And also, this is the month to go for stuff that you really want to experience. So that is just another thing that the number nine adds to proceedings this month. In any case, before we look at the um, the overall energy, because we will divide the video here in or the reading in three three areas, if that makes sense. So we look at the overall energy for the months ahead for the sign of Capricorn. Before we then look into the emotional core, maybe there's love coming in, whatever drama can go, that sort of stuff. Before we then lastly, we look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September. Now, before we do any of this, I want you to have a look at the right hand side of the screen. Um, you can see that there is uh, the Kickstart campaign has started. Um, I mentioned a couple of months ago <clears throat> and actually had the artist I was working with on <coughs> the, um, the channel. And so we have been working, me and my friend Lindsay, we have been working on a uh, 38 oracle card deck uh, which is titled fauna lessons of spirit animal guides and it is now all ready to go um, so if you look at the kickstarter campaign you can see how the cards actually look and uh, the campaign only runs until the end of september so if you want to help us turn this into reality now is the time to pledge without further ado let's have a look at the overall energy for the month of September, for the sign of Capricorn. Let's have a look. So, you have the Temple of Poseidon. This is the um, um, Atlantis card deck from Diana Cooper that I'm, that I'm using at the moment. And the interesting thing is that um, the, the Temple of Poseidon refers to uh, an intergalactic council, if that makes sense. <clears throat> and while this sounds very science fiction, it is not. Because we are from the stars. So I always or oftentimes mention the, um, the Native American origin story where we come from the stars. We come from a place called the Pleiades or the Pleiadians or the Pleiades, whichever way you pronounce this. And then we came here to Earth and now we have um, a predetermined amount of lives to lift or a somewhat predetermined amount of lives to lift. So the Intergalactic Council, therefore, that the Temple of Poseidon refers to is literally saying with regards to the overall energy for your very sign. Look at who you truly are. How connected are you to yourself? And do you ever journey or meditate and meet your ancestors and meet with your guides? If not, that is another really good way to connect and to figure out what's next, what's coming and what it is that you really want to do, if that makes sense, right? So the Temple of Poseidon, for uh, in, as, as the um, overall energy, is saying to you two things. Number one, it is time to connect to, true, to who you are truly. And number two, you are not alone and you do belong. Okay, so there seems to be, uh, for, for Capricorns, there seems to be a bit of an energy uh, uh, or vibrational issue here where you may not be in your strengths, where you may not feel so welcome, if that makes sense. And the universe is saying, buddy, you do belong. Okay, so now look at your emotional core. Let's look at your emotional core. Let's see what we got for you there. And you have sound and music. Makes sense because we just talked about vibration and sound and music is just that. What the guides are saying, rather than trying to manifest love or rather than trying to manifest healing, surround yourself with sound and music. So sound <clears throat> could be that you're using uh, tuning forks, um, tubular bells or singing bowls, whatever comes to you. And then music obviously is, is music when it comes to healing sort of music. Um, the the general consensus is when you listen to music for the purpose of um, relaxing 
and finding yourself. Uh, the, the, the general idea is that it is music without lyrics, so you're not going to be distracted um, so much. Right? In any case, the advice with regards to dealing with your emotional core is to do it with sound and music. And remember that we all vibrate, we all are vibrational beings, if that makes sense. And we all come from the stars, which has a heavy frequency vibration and every governing planet has their own healing frequencies, for instance, right? So really, really important for you um, to look after yourself with sound and music this very month. <clears throat> and then lastly, let's have a look at um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September for your very sign. Now, again, the, the, the terminology may not be uh, um, immediately uh, apparent, but what you're being asked to with regards to, to opportunities um, is to connect with your third eye, right? Understand everything spiritually, right? Because you have the unicorn here, which is the depiction of the third eye, right? So, you know, trust your senses, feel what is for you and feel what isn't for you. So the point here is to not blindly look for opportunities just because you're fed up with whatever it is you have going on. Um, make sure that the people who you want to work with want to work with you. What that means is you could you could just work somewhere um, if the money is right. But money is not a spiritual currency. And, and uh, some people feel entitled because they pay you. And that's not life, right? So what the guides are saying is use the third eye, use your spiritual understanding your fully aware, your full awareness of how deep you are to assess uh, opportunities, for want of a better word, and, and only literally engage with the ones that are energetically speaking high. Okay? So, that's all we got time for. Uh, Capricorn, thank you so much. Um, so, again, please look at the, the card deck. Um, would be nice if you pledged. In any case, please like, subscribe and share because it helps us grow the channel. Thank you so much. See you all next month. Bye-bye.